What's up everyone? This is Thomas Donny from the Drivers Apex. I haven't posted on it in a while. It's probably because I'm a public educator. It takes a lot of my time, but it's all good. So one of my first projects um, is repairing the sunroof tabs, the, the shade cover tabs on the M3. It was broken. The guy I bought it from, he had already ordered the kit. Um, I think it intimidates some people. For me, just jumped in, didn't really watch any videos or anything. It just seemed like common sense to me. I'm going to show everybody how to do this. Um, if you're curious, that's what a broken tab looks like. That's what a new one looks like. So that's going to prevent it from working properly. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how this is done. All right. So the thing that we're going to work on today is this here. It's broken. So I've got to try to slide this back. It's these tabs here that are broken. So I just... I need to, I need to move it back. And then I can need to access, there's like screws right there. All right, so the screws, one, two, there's a few up here that I need to get undone. It's all quick, like a uh, write up or whatever. It's, I thought it was a T20. That feels kind of loose in there. I'll look for a T25. Last thing I want to do is strip those out. That would suck. Yeah, so there's one, two. Is he two? All right, let's 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 look for a different one, uh, a different Torx head. All right. Now we just have to carefully get this out of here. Okay, now it's a tea towel. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just store the glass in here. Alright, that actually wasn't that difficult. So, if you want to... It's just those three screws on each side. So, one, two, three. And now what we're going to do is come in here and figure out what's up with our tray. So, the tray's right here. Oh, wow. See the tabs that are broken? Right there, those are the tabs. So this comes completely out now. I think there's a little bit of damage right there, which really sucks because it was broken. I've never done this before, so we're gonna figure this out. These look like they're intact. Yeah, I know if these are broken, mm, you have to pretty much buy a new, a whole new cover here. But I think we're okay. All I'm gonna need to do is replace these. I have them inside, so we'll, we'll get them done. And then what we'll do is we'll come in and lube the track. So I've got a little T10 little screwdriver set up here and then we don't have to worry about these screws because it comes with new so all we're going to do is take this one out that's crazy that's like bent i don't think it should be bent let me check the other one yeah i don't think they should be bent so someone's really ramming it in there magnetized because I had it next to a magnet. So fresh screws, fresh track. It's crazy, these little things here. Who would think? So it's really the first repair on the E46. It's just getting the sunroof shade working again. You can see how quick it goes. It's a pretty quick repair. I'm not gonna tighten them real tight. I don't think it's necessary, just hand tight. And it's going into plastic anyways. And it's a T10, they're so tiny. I fear stripping them. 
All right, so that's done. Just like that, quick repair. All right, so what I did is I lubed up some stuff real quick. If you're curious, it's these little metal clips here. I think all we do is we push them in here. The problem is someone before me buggered this one up, and I think as they buggered it up, it was because the tabs over there were broken. So this one looks perfect. That should seat in there, and then that should seat in there. What I may do is pull this out and then try to unbugger it a little bit. Okay. All right, so follow me right here. So because that spring, it's got a spring in it, right? So you push in and then it's gonna allow these clips to push in. So I've got that one just about ready to go. And then this one, I think it goes in that way. And then I think those go in first and then this pushes in. So let me double check the other spot. Because it wouldn't make sense the other way. Yeah, see, these are in. So we're gonna push here. That's why these are spring bound. It'll absorb. And then we can finish putting in that clip, which should be right here. And all I wanna do is just be careful doing it. So this one's in. I just want to be careful not to snap it. It doesn't help with a dislocated finger, that's for sure. I suppose what I could do is just pop that out, push it in. That's what I'll do. So you can pause there. All right, so let's go ahead and take these little T10 screws. Man, it doesn't help with a busted finger. I can barely grip stuff now with my finger. And maybe you don't do it this way. I, I don't know. I was just curious if you could snap it down in. Now we can just put the screws back in. Nice. That seemed a little bit easier. It's this annoying pinky finger that's making it difficult. Do you want me to pass it? Yeah. Look at that. It's, it doesn't bend right, people. It happens when you play uh, football with your students and you catch the ball wrong. It's called them getting old. So, let's just see. Oh. Just popped down. But it's really tight over there. Really tight, actually. So, let's see. It's really tight. I think I know why it's tight. I think it's this here. It's, I know exactly, I can see it. Mm -hmm. So if you see right here, as we pull, it catches right here. So it's this here that's causing the problem because this is boogered up. So what we're gonna do is maybe release some of the tension on this. All right, this piece is so important. Mine was all the way in the back. So this has to be before this last bracket. So all you need to do is operate your sunroof with the glass out, which sounds kind of weird. Move, and then what I did was I took this and I was able to manually move it up. And then once it was up, then I was able to Screw it in and then show you that everything works. And then let's bring it back. And 
and then you can then do that. I found it easier to install these after, so put in your little spring pieces, whatever, and then push, put these in, screw them in, and you're done. But the key is this has to be in the front. Now, let me get a T25 handled. You can pause there and I'll come back. Oh, I'm going to use a T25 screwdriver at least to get it started. Uh, it's a little tricky to see in here. Yeah, go film from the other side. Then you'll be able to show everybody. Go from the passenger side. Okay, there we go. And then what I'm gonna do is just lightly put them in just to get them started. Cause then I think you need to adjust the sunroof up and down and all that good stuff. Cause see what I mean? So there is, when I disconnected it, I could feel the sunroof move like an up and down so i know there's an adjustment a final adjustment that will need to be made and of course all this is new to me because i have never owned one of these cars so this is all new i can't even see i can't see the hole let's see here I'm trying not to put too much pressure on the leather. Let's see. It's not quite going in. It's that Arizona sun, my gosh. It's like. Okay, cool. I just don't want to cross thread or anything else like that. All right, so now you can go to the driver's side. Okay. A lot of that's just for adjustments. So there's a lot of adjustments I think that'll need to be, to be made. These had thread lock on them. If need be, it's easy to pull them back out. I don't think you need the lock, but I could be wrong. I doubt there's a torque for this, but I could be wrong as well. Whew. Glad I saw where that bounced. Okay. Yeah, so. Now we just want to get the, see it needs to come up a little bit. And then in the back and stuff. So we'll adjust this front one. So it needs to go up. So tell me when it's fairly level. Ooh. I mean, I think that looks better. Right, um, so check the passenger side. I could be As wrong. I push up. Okay, hang on. Yeah, try that and come look before you keep adjusting. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty level now. The rear is gonna need adjusting. So I tell see. me when that looks level. That's good. Okay. Maybe a little high even, maybe. Too high or? I think it's a little too high. Then tell me when it's That's level. good, try that. Okay. 
All right, so now the passenger side. Okay. Can you it? Yeah, like up a little bit. Mm, too much. To drop it down more. There, try that. Is that good? Yes, let's try that. Okay, so now, what we'll do is we'll tighten them down. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. But come look at it first to see if it's level. Okay. Hey. This side needs to come up. So. You want that up? Okay. Yep. Okay. See, because it should be... It should be level. That's too low. Too low? Okay. What we want is it to be pretty level. And the right front's pretty good, do you think? Mm. Yeah, so let's loosen this up a little bit. We know it's going to be a little bit of work. It's not a one time and it's done kind of deal. Yeah, that's better. And now I understand what to look for. Okay. Yeah, we just want to look for that. You want it up more or you like it Maybe worse? a little bit more. What's nice now is now I know how to pull the glass when I want to, because this sunroof seal here, see the fuzz? Mm -hmm. It's wearing out. This eventually needs to be replaced. So now that I had to do it, gotcha. now that I know how to do this, I can take it somewhere and get it done. I'm probably not going to do it myself. Mm -hmm. I might come up a smidge higher. Okay. I'm not, of course, an expert at, at this, but... I think that's good. And if I'm wrong, I definitely want someone to tell me so I can fix it. That's, yeah, see, that looks better to me. Let me look at the, uh, there's a couple little dents right there. Mm. I think this car flew for a little bit in the Midwest. I think it got a couple hill smacks. Yeah, so this needs to come up a smidge. Okay. You may come over that side? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. yeah, that's better. You like that? Okay. I mean, I think this one's good. Well, I'm here. Let's check the rear. That rear doesn't look too bad. I can check with my buddy. He can tell me too if I'm off by a little bit. Yeah, so replacing this is not as simple as, oh, just replace it. Yeah, this is going to come up a little bit. Those broken tabs, it's also adjusting. Mm, yeah. Yeah, see, that looks better. It should be pretty level there. It shouldn't be too, too much lower. All right. Let me check the other side again. Run with your screwdriver like this, <laughs> not like this, in case you smack the car. Yeah, that looks good. This side here is good. I think we can go ahead and tighten it down. Okay. I don't want to over tighten, so we'll we'll hang out on the conservative side. Where's the third screw? One, two. Okay, it's way up here. So tight. When I was loosening these, it's it's a weird feeling because it feels like you strip the screw. And I bought a new T25 just to make sure. Because my other T25 was slightly rounded. I didn't think it it's not a screw I'd want to strip. And then there's one here. 
here. Okay. All right, so this. Oh, look at that. that. Now it works. There's like a little bit of stuff here, but it's fine. It's a shame. Yeah. This is 300 bucks. So for now, this will work. All right, and then let's make sure everything works. Ah! And then back. Done. All right. Already fixed this. This is now fixed. And then you can see it works properly now. And we'll bring it in the other way. That was interesting to learn how to do. There's a tab there that, that operates this and it was on the wrong side. So I got that fixed today as well. So it's fixed. All right, everyone. So I hope you liked this video. This is the first repair on the E46 M3. I figured I'd start with the easiest repair because next repair is differential bushing. So I've already ordered the differential cover. So I'm going rubber, I'm sticking rubber. So it already comes with the bushings pressed in, but it's that front uh, diff bushing. That one's tricky. So I'm gonna walk everyone through that. There's a million videos. I appreciate everyone that comes to my channel just to watch. Some of it's just for entertainment. Some of it's for just a different perspective, but this was not that big of a deal. The big thing is to make sure that that little mechanism's on the other side of the clip. That I didn't know. Never worked on an E46 M3 before, but if you haven't already liked this video, subscribed to my channel, definitely do so. And as always, thanks for watching.